Hi, I'm Ethan, I love muzzleloading, and this is a review of the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader. Earlier this year, I was contacted by Aaron at Cedar Mountain Quick Loaders and asked to do a review of these quick loaders and share it with you. So that's what I'm doing here today. I mean, full disclosure, these quick loaders were sent to me, but I'm not being compensated monetarily, and I don't make anything off of the sale of these quick loaders. I've done my best to test these thoroughly in kind of the, my environment and put them through some of the paces that I think that you might at home to give you an unbiased or, or and just tell you kind of straight up, I guess, how they perform for me and what I think about them. If you're not interested in my full review or my first impressions of the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader, I've got a pros and cons list for you right here. First up in the pros column, it's a lightweight, durable design. It allows for no spilt powder while loading. The powder drains quickly and easily from the charge tube, and the tubes seat firmly into the valve system and don't come out even after weeks and weeks of being bounced around. On the con side of things, the tubes seat so firmly that you can't change them out of the spout quickly. Dry skin or slit gloves could compound the difficulty, but generally when you're using this, you're not swapping out tube after tube after tube unless you're out the range. In a hunting situation, generally you're only going to use the charge tube that's already attached to it when you go out with your rifle already loaded. And then for some, the size might be a little bit bulky compared to some of the other charge tubes or quick loaders are out there. Because we have the circular valve assembly there on the side, it's a little bit wider in your pocket, but the overall thickness is still pretty slim. It's really no more thick than the charge tube that we're used to carrying. And uh, you know, as long as you're not loading up your pockets with like little Debbie snacks or something, there's generally gonna be some room in there for one of these. Quick loaders as a concept have been around for a long time. We have examples going back to the 19th and the 18th century of different prepared loads or prepared charges being carried on hunters or militiamen gear to help save time in muzzle loading because the reloading process takes so long compared to modern cartridge arms. Whether your speed loader is made of paper or leather or wood or the modern plastic, the purpose remains the same. The idea of the speed loader or the quick loader is to have a secondary follow-up shot pre-measured and ready to go, easily accessible or as easily accessible as modern engineers can make them. In the modern space, you know, kind of the contemporary muzzleloading space, speed loaders kind of vary on their complexity. You can have just a basic plastic tube that many of us use to store pre-measured powder charges, all the way up to combo loaders that hold the powder, a projectile, and might even have a short starter to help facilitate easy loading. But when we look at all these different kinds of speed loaders that are out there currently, there hasn't really been a lot of change or a lot of innovation really until recently with the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader, which has been around for a little while and by no means the first guy to take a look at them. But what the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader has done is done something a little bit differently, I think, compared to some of the other speed loaders, especially compared to some of the mass market, you know, very popular speed loaders or quick loaders that are out there. The Cedar Mountain Quick Loader comes as a single loader with three charge tubes or in a double pack with two loaders and six charge tubes. You'll find the tubes are similar to the other charge tubes on the market, and I'd be surprised if they weren't the exact same diameter. At face value, the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader is a combo loader with a place for powder and projectile. But what makes this different is its rotating valve and drop tube design. Standard quick loaders generally have a variety of different cap designs. Some have a cap that is totally removed and can be lost or dropped out in the stand while hunting very easily, or a hinged cap that is prone to breaking after reputed use, especially in cold temperatures. With the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader, you measure out your charge into your charge tube, and then you insert it into your valve and drop tube assembly, or just your, your valve assembly, whatever you want to call it. You take your charge tube into this end here, connect it to the valve, press it in there, make sure it's firmly seated in there, and then you can close up your valve like this so it's in line with your drop tube, and you can go about your merry way. When you're ready to load, you simply open up the valve, invert it, placing it down into your muzzle, the powder drains, and you're ready to go. Something I really like about this design is it's not dependent on my fingers. So if I'm out on a cold December day, like it is out there today, whether I'm wearing gloves or mittens, I can still grip and rotate this valve assembly to pour out my powder. I don't have to fumble around trying to snap or unsnap a cap on my drop tube or my charge tube to get the powder out. And along with that, the design of this is really robust. During testing, flexing it, rotating it around, and trying to you know, kind of beat this thing up, 
it stayed together, it stayed intact, and the tolerances are still tight. It's not loose or knocking around at all. This drop tube itself is really designed to work with a modern muzzleloader that has a muzzle brake on the front, like we're seeing become a little bit more popular here in recent years. And while I don't have a muzzleloader currently that has a muzzle brake on the front, I still find this drop tube to be really nice. Uh, like I said, going back to some of the cold weather temperatures, or if it's just a windy day or something, or if I'm just not paying a lot of attention, there are times where I can pour out a little extra powder on the muzzle, you know, just not thinking about it, and I lose a little bit of that charge. But with this drop tube, I just insert this directly into the muzzle, and I know that all of my powder for my pre-measured charge is going to get down into the bore. Something else I like about the design of this quick loader, it's not really pertinent to the design itself. Really the design is in the valve assembly for this quick loader, but I really like that there aren't markings added to the included charge tubes. So many times around hunting season, we see people commenting on charge tubes not matching up with the weight that they're measuring or with the volume that they're measuring out of a volumetric measure. And it generally leads to a lot of confusion because the markings on many of those charge tubes that have the markings on the side, like this one doesn't, aren't accurate. They're not aligned, they're not calibrated very well, and it leads to a lot of mismatching, and it leads to a lot of confusion, uh, especially for somebody that doesn't necessarily shoot their muzzleloader a lot. With this, you just have to count on your volumetric measure or your weight measure to know that you have the right amount in your charge tube. But I like that these tubes don't have markings on them because it negates any of that confusion. So enough with my first impressions. How did I actually test this thing and how well did it work? I do wanna say that this isn't so much of a parameters test like we see in our expansion or accuracy test. This is more of just kind of a gut test. I tried to put the speed loader through the paces and simulate and emulate some of the rough terrain that some of you, especially out west, might be hunting in. First, I measured out a series of charges of Black Horn 209, 777 2FG, and Swiss 3F black powder. With each powder, I set out to the range and tested each of the powders in the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader in their respective muzzle loaders to try to get an all encompassing experience with the quick loader, you know, not dependent on powder. And I'm happy to say each powder performed really well. And it might seem like kind of an obvious thing or maybe a really simple parameter to test, but because there are so many variables when it comes to muzzle loading, I wanted to set out and test this with a variety of different powders to reflect some of the things that you might be shooting with, with your specific muzzle loaders. While at the range, I also tested the functionality of the projectile holder on the side of the valve, and it performed as well as any of the other products on the market. There's nothing really different here uh, with the projectile compartment on here, but the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader does include a nice piece of dense foam in their projectile holder, in their bullet holder side of this. So your bullet or your round ball isn't rattling around in your pocket or in your bag when you hold it in there. It makes no noise virtually because it is compressed against that foam and the lid. The projectile holder is on the side of our drop tube and valve here. It has just a simple tethered rubber lid and then we can just pop it open with a thumb like that to get our projectile out. I did have some difficulty after the, the bullet had been compressed in here for a little bit, uh, the foam kind of compressed, and I had to kind of tap it to get it out, but that really wasn't an inconvenience for me. After testing the functionality of the whole assembly at the range, I wanted to do a bit of an endurance test and simulate what it would be like going on a weekend long spot and stock or trudging back and forth to your stand. So I loaded up two of these with powder and with projectile. I put one in my jacket pocket and I put one in my everyday carry backpack to make sure they got plenty of jostling and rocking around. I carried both of these items every day for two weeks. Really happy to say that I didn't see any change on these. I didn't see any powder leak. I didn't see any breakage. I didn't see any wear and tear. There's a little bit of pocket lint on this one that I'm holding, but really it performed well. I mean, it everything held together. None of the caps popped off. Nothing got loose. Really for a two week endurance test, I don't know what else you could ask for. Even after the formal completion of the test and still rocking around in my bag for a couple weeks by the time you've seen this video, there was no noticeable change or dislodging of the charge tube or of the projectile cap, which I think is really cool. In closing, I think the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader is a really neat quick loader. It's a really neat design, and it's certainly one of the best that I've tried. And that quality is reflected in the price. For one valve and three charge tubes, it's about 24 bucks. For two valves and six charge tubes, it's 48 bucks. And that might seem like a tough pill to swallow, especially when you compare it to some of the cheaper bulk 
charge tubes that you can find out there. But if you're somebody running a muzzle brake on your rifle or you shop with a buy once, cry once mentality, you're definitely gonna wanna pick some of these up. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised with the Cedar Mountain Quick Loader. Kind of going into it, I thought, what can you really do with a quick loader to make it better? It's kind of, it's just a tube, it holds what you need. But this is a design I think that does make the quick loader better. And I'm surprised that we don't see copycats of this being made yet. Um, it's a really, really good design, I think. Uh, I'm impressed with it, you know. I don't necessarily have an engineering background, but I like to make stuff. And I am, I am impressed with how well this works and the functionality of it. But, you know, whether or not you want to pick some of these up, you know, that's really up to you. I hope that this review, uh, you know, gives you some more information, gives you maybe some ideas to start thinking about. And maybe you might consider picking up a couple of these sometime. I know I'm a big fan. I'm going to keep these in my range bag. I'm going to keep using them for sure. So I'd like to thank Aaron for sending them to me. Uh, and I hope that this review was, was useful for you. If it's not, please let me know. I like to be informative as much as I can. And if I'm not being informative and not helping you guys out, out there in the muzzleloading world, please let me know. And uh, I'll try to do better and I'll try to be better and give more better, more better, <laughs> more good information as much as I can for you. Once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.